Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide to starting off modding your Nitrado Rust private server for PC. Now, if you're watching this and um, the uh, the private servers for PlayStation and Xbox are out because Rust has come out on those consoles, then some of this will probably apply, but what I'll do is there'll be an update in the description down below that will take you to once I've done it a new video that shows you how to do it on console as I say this is for PC because that's all that's out at the moment so if you didn't know already Nitrado you know big company who uh, rent out game servers rate out rent, rent out rust servers as well and so what we're going to be doing in this game in this video is I'm going to be showing you how to set up your uh, rust server so it, so it's kind of ready for modding we're going to look at um, installing and connecting um, Rust Admin, which is a Archon tool. Don't worry, I'll talk about this in more depth when we get to it. And then we're going to look at where you can get lots of mods, so a U mod. And then we're going to look at how you can set yourself up as an admin on your Rust server so that you have all those wonderful admin tools and um, and all that power so that you can run around as god on your server spawning things in and stuff like that so start off with let's let's talk about how you can start setting your nitrado server up so you want to go to your dashboard you, you probably won't have as many services as these but you go down to your um your rust server wherever it is there it is and you click on the the web gears icon here the settings icon here click on that that will then take you to your rust dashboard and what we want to do now is we want to go down to settings general and you want to click on that and at this point you can change the name of your server if you like put a description in click on your anti-cheat this is the bit we're interested in down here now the first thing we're going to do is you're going to tick where it says oxide and then you're going to save and then you're going to restart the server now oxide is the framework in which modding occurs mostly occurs on your rust servers rather confusingly face punch and the people behind uh, the people behind rust the developers um are changing the framework for modding on rust because they wanted to create a framework that not only would work with rust but would work with lots of other games as well like a consistent modding sort of framework and they're changing the name to umod so once we get started umod is the place where we can go to find mods <laughs> all right so it's called uh, oxide but it will be changing to to umod with, with, with an update so by the time you watch this video if you're watching this in the future which you probably are from time recording it it may well be called umod okay so you've restarted your server so what we're going to do next is we're going to do something a little bit more technical so the, the way that the rust server is running and it's chundering away on your your nitrado um remote computer on its in its server rack you need to be able to talk to the server to do certain things um and in order to talk to it you need to use an archon device so you see here where it says archon password what i want you to do is is click on the little I icon so you can see what it is and then just type in a password that you will remember and this is the remote connection password I don't know if it stands for remote con connection or remote console what are the two and then what you want to do is you want to go to rustadmin.com and you want to download uh, this 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 program and rust admin is an archon pr program so it's a way that you can talk to your server so your server is you know it, it, it's doing its thing it's created the island it's spawning things in npcs and they're all going on and you use archon to, to talk to it remotely because some of the mods that you may well use for example the whitelist mod will need you to be able to use an archon program to talk to your server because you won't be able to do it through the console and you say well, what the f bloody hell rob this all gonna be complex so the console is and you can try this now when you're playing rust just press F1, and you'll get a you'll get a command line pop up, and that's that's the console. And, you can, and as an admin, you can you can type all sorts of wonderful things into that, which we'll talk about in a bit as well. 
but sometimes you can't do things through the console you can only do them through Archon so that's why you download Archon and, and, and I'll put the link to Rust Admin in the description down below so download that and then then run it okay and then it will pop up and then you want to go to uh, server config and you want to put in uh, you want to click web archon and then you want to fill in all these um, things here now remember that's your password there so you type that one in first then you've got IP server port and archon port now if at this point you go back to your uh, server and you scroll up a bit you'll see here the information you need so this first number here 46 dot for me 46251.1234.17 that is the IP address of my server so I copy that in there and then the server port and the archon port are 20100 that one there so they go into there and I, I have auto reconnect clicked and auto connect at startup ticked so they're both ticked and you save that and you go server connect and then down the bottom you can see it says connected and then what you would do is this then gives you the ability you click on console here and when you're going to type in commands you're going to type them in here now we're not going to type anything now we've only set this up because when you start doing mods some of them may well want you to use archon and so if you've got this at your fingertips ready to go then it's going to make things a lot easier in the future okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set you up as an admin now there's a rather nice little description on how to do this over on shockbike now um, you, what you'll find is there's lots of companies that host Rust servers and they've all got different wikis and different help files on how to do stuff but mostly when you go in and look at them the information will be okay for, for Nitrado as well um, there might be some specifics that aren't but most of it will be right and so this, this little article at Shopbike by which I again will, will add in the description down below show, tells you how to add you as admin and you can also add moderators as well so you just follow these instructions but basically what you do is you go down to your file browser here and you click on that and let's go to home so you can see it right from the beginning click on rust scroll down to server click on server profile and click on CFG and what you're looking for is a file that says users dot CFG now it may not be there in fact it's probably not there so if that's not the case you just click create new file and you would type users.cfg and then you would save that okay I'm not going to save it and then it would appear here then all you do is you then click on it and it opens up within the browser and you can do it within the browser the, the web browser it's fine it, it, that'll work and then all you need then is your steam ID and what you type in is you type owner ID your massive long steamer ID steam ID um, and then you can put your name on it if you want and you could put uh, a, a title as well as you know why you've done it but if you if you give owner ID to your steam ID that means you will then be admin on the server um, and then what you can do is if you want to give somebody moderator powers you put moderator ID with their steam ID and again again you could you could put a name I, I, I don't I don't bother with a name but you, you, could, you could have a name and a reason and you would put that there as well now moderators have all the powers of owners but they can't get rid of other moderators and they can't get rid of the owner okay where they obviously the owner can can delete moderators so they can enable god mode and do all that sort of stuff now i'll put a link I, I won't talk about it here but how i'll put a link down below or you can just do a google search how to find steam id if you just type that in 
there's loads of different ways that tells you how to find your Steam ID. And once you've got your Steam ID, you know you, you can put that in. So you now be admin. And the thing I would say is, once you're admin, fire up Rust again. Well, sorry. Then once you've done that, save it and restart the server. Fire up Rust. Go into Rust, okay. And I want you to press F1 to bring up the con console and type no clip, and then you can fly. <laughs> so the next thing you would want to know is, is you want to know. Well, wait a minute. What 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 admin commands can I put in? And again, I'll put um, a link to this in the description down below. Rust game. But there are loads and loads of different admin commands you can do. So here's one. Um, yeah, there's loads and loads of stuff. There's all the boring things, <laughs> like banning people and listing your FPS and all this sort of stuff. And then you'll find some really cool stuff like um, no clip and uh, give inventory and things like that. But again, I'll, I'll put links to all the commands that you can use. Well, I'll, I'll put links to the uh, articles that have lists of commands in the YouTube description down below. Then let's have a look at UMod. So this is where you're going to find all the mods that you're looking for. So if you come over here and you just click on, uh, say, plugins, and you click on Rust, and then you change, it probably it will start off like this: title A to Z. But you click on, oh, sorry most downloads you'll see things like gather manager by Ryan and all you do is you click on this and depending on the plugin they, they, they give you instructions on how to install this on your server so this one gives you more resources and you can you can change how how many resources you get so when you for example hit a tree with a rock instead of getting five lumps of wood you could set it so you got 50 lumps of wood that sort of stuff and then it goes through and it tells you what to do. Now most of these things, most of these mods, you can access simply by using the file browser um, on your Nitrado server, finding the relevant places to put them. Generally what happens is, the way it works, is you download the file and you put it into Oxide, um, plugins and you dump the file into there so there's two I've got on at the moment time of day whitelist you restart the server sometimes you don't even have to restart it and then you go into oxide config and it would have created a JSON file and you go into the JSON file and this is where you can edit the, the things you know that the parameters and then you restart the server and then you're good to go. Now, all of this sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. And I know we've covered a lot of ground in this video. Um, but as long as you carefully follow the instructions you find for each mod, and if you're not sure, you know, don't do it. <laughs> you, know, you know, move on. Try a simpler mod before before you crack on. Um, but there we go. That, my friends, is how you get to start modding on your Nitrado Rust private server hopefully that's been useful look there's going to be loads more rust modding content coming um, be um, because rust is coming to console hopefully fairly soon and i know there's going to be a big hunger on console players for private servers and modding servers and all the wonderful things we can do with this uh, pretty amazing sandbox game but th that's enough for this video thank you very much for watching subscribe um, and like and i'll see you all again soon